and welcome back to the garden. Now today we're going to spray the fruit trees with the winter wash. Now we're, we're all right because I've looked at the trees and they're totally dormant. So we're all right. if any uh, tree, fruit trees have got leaves coming through, don't spray. But these totally dormant. We had quite a big frost this morning. Everything was white over. But that's lifted, so now we can spray and hopefully it'll be dried enough for overnight in case it freezes again. But I do believe it's not going to freeze tonight. This is the winter tree wash for fruit trees. It's actually soap based, so it's quite safe. But I will put glasses on because I don't want the soap in my eyes. I use this little five litre sprayer. I find it easier to get around the trees and the knapsacks are a bit heavy these days. Now, if you are going to do it, read the bottle. Make sure you mix it to the right dilution. I think you'll find it's 50 mil to the litre, but it's best to read it anyway, because it might be a different brand. Now the tree, what we do, we try and spray as much as possible on so down to runoff spray to runoff i have nipped one or two branches off through the winter but they were just dead branches i thought i can't do with those there's one or two crossing but i'm going to leave those now right just spray away it doesn't get rid of the lichen and the mosses but it does make it very difficult for the overwintering aphid etc that are on the on the cracks and crannies of the tree and with it being soap it just it just uh, breaks their wax coat up and that's what kills them you try if you've got little cracks and crannies try to get into them Especially on the main. Plenty of. This is the lichen that we've got growing on the apple tree. Now I'm told that you only get lichen when you're in a clean air area. So it's nice to see. Right, we'll just do this side of the tree. I'll start from the centre again, make sure it's all nice and wet where those crooks and crannies are for the, for the green fly etc that hide there could be some eggs in there as well that was laid last year we we'll spray it till it runs The wind seems to be getting up a little, so I just do this side before it gets too bad. But I say it's only soap based, so it's not. Although I wouldn't recommend you drink it, but it's not so bad. Another thing we'll have to do is get these grease bands redone ready for it as it gets warm so that's i'll sort some out make sure we've got some to get that done with that little bit of wind diane's moved away so she doesn't get sprayed again Now I've done the plum tree and the apple tree, I shall do the cherry tree and the grape, all your fruit trees, give them a good, give them a good soaking with that while it's winter and then hopefully we'll, we'll be better fruit wise. Now talking to the fruit, we next time we're in the shed I'll show you 
the apples off this tree that we're actually still using now. I've got them stored in the shed and we're still actually using them. And very nice they are too as well. On the way back to the house, I'll just nip in the shed and I'll just set these organic aubergines. These are called Black Beauty. It's, uh, it's not one I've had before, so we'll see how it performs. Now, that was just a short video to remind you, while these trees are dormant, to get some winter wash on them. Now, that'll be it for now. It's turning very, very cold, as warm as it's been this morning. Beautiful sunshine, and now it's getting quite cold. And the wind's getting up. So, we'll see you next time when I think we'll have a walk down and show you the progress of the plots on the garden. Okay, see you soon. Bye now.